So let's pretend I was doing something. Getting ready in here. Ah, g'day adventurers. I'm uh, making up some burley, I've run out. So I thought I'd make a video so that you guys can see how to do it if you're interested. So let's get into it. All right, now if you're like me, I like to keep my bait that I've not used after a fishing trip and throw it in the fridge for this very reason, to use it, recycle it for uh, baking burley. So you can see these pilchards, they've uh, well and truly had their day. Um, so yeah, just gonna get all my scraps out of the fridge and well, there's some more, more uh, pilchards that are very past their use by date. So I'm just gonna get them out. Now I've got one of these little fellas to make things easier. I'm gonna throw all in here and just churn it away, and make a big mush for it. I've also got some tuna, tuna oil, fish attractants that I'll throw in with either chicken pellets or the uh, bread. Bread, just to pack it out to make it bigger, more of it, in case you need to make, you know, yeah. You've got a certain amount, you haven't got enough stuff to use, so just bulk it out with that gear. Anyway, I'm going to start churning into churning things with this and get it into a, a bit of a munch, a bit of a mince. All right. Let's see. Whack these pilchards in. Get these out of the way. Ah, <clears throat> need them for now. All right, pilchard's going in. Nice and mushy, easy. Easy for this machine. starting to come out there. You can see the little chopped up bits. Like that. What else have we got? More. More pilchards. A couple of other different fish in there. Yaka, some herring as well, old herring. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep doing all my junk stuff in this and till I'm finished, and come back to it then. All right, just finishing up, I found some nice juicy old mullet gut. Almost done here. Uh, one tip if you're using one of these fellas is don't put your squid in here because the, the skin gets stuck in all the gears and the teeth and stuff, so no squid. But yeah, found some prawns, mullet gut, pilchards, fish, any sort of fish. Throw it in here, give it a turn, and mince away. This is what we end up with, nice, delicious looking uh, burly uh, mix. All right. So, uh, now I put all my little burlies into these containers. Because that's what I slip into that burly bomb maker that I did the last the video on a few weeks ago. They come, they become the capsules, the uh, bullet capsules for that. So all I'm going to do is probably got enough here, so I probably don't need to do the chick pellets. Uh, let's do that. We'll put some chick pellets in. That's going to add some extra long-lasting flavour. The mix. 
you know those chip pellets, they, they disintegrate in the water. So that just helps to spread the flavour. Uh, when it's in the burly dispenser, heading through the currents. Mix that in, explain in cold. Now, as I said, I sometimes put some of the yeah, good old fish extract, tuna oils in. Uh, I've got plenty here, so I don't need to bolster it with this gear. Uh, that's probably more so if you're using a lot of bread mix, add some flavor to the breads or these uh, chip pellets. But since we've got enough, no need. So yeah, just gonna throw these fellas in here. Try and mix it, get an even amounts in each. Flame and cold. My hands are frozen now. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. Just the perfect amount that I needed. Six burly bomb, deadly burly bomb canisters. Take a bit out of this one, put into that fella. That's it. I've made the burlies. Just gonna put them in the freezer and they'll be ready to go each trip. Throw them in that little burly bomb dispenser that I made and dangle it over the side. And you've got excellent little Burly bomb truck maker. Burly bomb, burly. So yeah, there's probably a thousand ways to do this. That was a pretty simple way. You know, just let, us, let us know in the comments below if you've got your own special way of doing things or whatever little special tricks that you do. That'd be good. Let us all know, eh? Thanks for watching. See you next time.